Hi everyone and welcome to TV Guide Close Up. I'm your host, Leslie Ann Machado, and in the next hour, we will be taking a look at the TV show Smallville. I need help now. He's faster than a speeding bullet, more powerful than a locomotive, he is Superman. Well, almost. He's Clark Kent. Tom Welling plays the handsome young Clark on the WB's hit series, Smallville. And on today's close-up, we're taking I you behind the scenes. What are you doing? Action! Where we meet the show's hot stars. Hi, this is Kristen Kruk, and TV Guide is everywhere. The TV Guide channel likes Smallville. That's, that's good to know. And get the inside scoop on Smallville's love connections. Then, find out how Super Kent has super speed as we uncover the show's special effects secrets. Plus, an emotional tribute to the late Christopher Reeve and how the cast of Smallville felt about working with the Superman legend. Superman has been an international icon for over 40 years, and the WB Smallville continues to keep this comic book hero alive. That's kind of why I'm here. Um, I was wondering if you would mind being my super shuttle? I'm Greg Beeman. I'm the executive producer of Smallville. This is a different version of the Superman mythology. To go to the place where he can fly and he has unlimited powers would make the show less accessible for the audience that we've built. I think it makes the show more real and it, there's a, it's a little bit darker. It makes Clark more accessible, less invulnerable. When we started this show, I knew it was something special and we could just do uh, the best job we could and that's, I think, what we're still doing. And I was there and I was approached by these two guys and they said, hey, you know, we've watched every single episode and we've been fans since we were born of Superman. I think you're really doing a good job and, and really fulfilling the shoes um, the way we'd like to see someone do that. And it's great to hear. I mean, that's what, that's the biggest reward you can have to fill these huge shoes. But before he donned the cape, there was a teenager named Clark Kent who grew up in the picture book town of Smallville. We could, and that's, I think, what we're still doing. And I was there, and I was approached by these two guys, and they said, hey, you know, we've watched every single episode, and we've been fans since we were born of Superman. I think you're really doing a good job and, and really fulfilling the shoes um, the way we'd like to see someone do that. And it's great to hear. I mean, that's what, that's the biggest reward you can have to fill these huge shoes. But before he donned the cape, there was a teenager named Clark Kent who grew up in the picture book town of Smallville. Shot in Vancouver, Canada, Smallville is a town much like the one found in the Superman comics and movies. Here to talk to us about the creation of the town and its timeless characters is small town veteran himself, Dukes of Hazard star John Schneider. Smallville is a show about uh, a little town in Kansas that was visited by a meteor shower some 17, 16 years ago. We play parents who found a little boy who had landed in a spaceship in a cornfield. <laughs> and over the years, we discovered that this young man had some rather odd differences from all the other children. He's very strong, he's very fast. And uh, this is Martha Kent, I'm Jonathan Kent, and our young son's name, of course, is Clark. Where he's not sure what he's supposed to do with all these, with all these powers. He's not so um, definite on saving the world and saving other people. He's not sure what he's here for. And right now, he thinks he's here for all the wrong reasons. So that, that keeps it interesting. When you've got a teenager with superpowers, you've got to expect some super problems. And Clark, like most teens, would rather hang with friends, pursue a first crush, and join the football team. As much as Clark wants to be normal and he's trying to be a normal high school kid, he's not normal. So uh, he's got all these special abilities and uh, they get in his way every so often. Clark Kent's character has changed so much, you know, from the baby Superman to a kid growing up and developing or learning these superpowers. And now we see him as the star of the football team and really trying to fit in to be a kid and to learn to control his powers. And also this season, we see Clark being a typical teenager, standing up and defying his parents. Hi, I'm Kristen Kirk from the WB Smallville and you're watching the TV Guide channel. 
With enormous change comes great challenges. Our TV Guide crew caught up with creator Miles Miller on the set in New York City. Well, the fans want, and, the, and we can give them, they always want to see Clark and Lex at odds. They always want to see, you know, Clark and Lana at odds. And also, secretly, what Clark and Lana to get together. So it's always a challenge to give the fans what they want, but also what, what the show needs, which is conflict and drama. Well, fans seem to be getting exactly what they need. Smallville is hotter than ever with plenty of interesting storylines in store. Up next, it's our heart to heart with the lady who plays Lana Lang. Yeah, I kind of like it with the tension and, and the will they or won't they. I think it's interesting. And find out more about Michael Rosenbaum, the bad guy who blushes. I just, I, I couldn't possibly look in the mirror and think sexy. Yeah, I'd go with it. The dish on Clark Kent's superpowers. Basically, I just told you what the whole ending was of the season finale, and that's not good. Um, I'm Allison Mack from the WB Smallville. Hi, this is John Schneider from Smallville. I'm Annette O'Toole from the set of Smallville. You're watching TV Guide Channel. Don't miss a thing. And still to watch, one of the last TV interviews with the late Christopher Reeve. This, this, this kind of thing is something that I'm delighted to uh, sandwich in around all the political work Today, that I'm Today, we're giving you a behind-the-scenes look of the WB's super series, Smallville. Love is in the air at Smallville High. So who will be catching the love bug next? There's a whole dynamic of Clark and Chloe, Clark and Lana, Clark, Lana and Whitney, and, and it's, as always in Smallville, the relationship are always in limbo. He wants to get close to Lana Lang. He wants to be able to say a word to her, but he can't because his knees buckle when he gets close to her. We find out it's because of, we're not going to tell you, something. The, the relationships that people have with other characters on the show, I think, shows you more about who that character is. Whether Clark is saving the town from dangerous toxins, battling his alter ego, or being enticed by a Kryptonian girl, it's a safe bet that there's never a dull moment on Smallville. Who's that? My cousin. Well, you've never mentioned her before. Where's she from? Far away. California. Well, you know, um, if you have company, then I, you know, I should probably find another ride to the airport. No. Wow, excuse me. Kristen Crook plays the beautiful girl next door, Lana Lang. She may weaken the knees of Clark Kent, but who's tugging on her heartstrings? It's kind of complicated. They obviously have feelings for each other, but there's a lot holding them back. Uh, her inability to completely trust him and Chloe. So they're, they're going back and forth and, and sort of almost being in a relationship and then something will pull them back. Allison Mack plays the quick and curious Chloe Sullivan, who in the past has waited in the wings for Clark. I'm going to the dance with you, not by default, because I want to. Turn it up! You never, who knows if he's going to try a long-term relationship or not. And I think it would be really interesting to, to explore a little bit more of the romantic relationship that Chloe and Clark um, are sort of developing right now. Chloe has no chance with Clark. The real question with Chloe is, with Lois coming on the show, what will be Chloe's role? The producers are now struggling with, you know, we don't want Chloe to be usurped by Lois. So what we're going to see this season is a real dramatic turn with Chloe's character. It's, yeah, there's a lot of hype. It's going to be a good season. There's going to be a lot more character development. I think we're going to find a lot out about all the different characters in the show. We'll see where they want to go with it. The fans seem to like it. Clark still has a lot of love for Lana that I don't think he's going to let go anytime soon. But Chloe's a really cool person, and she's coming up fast behind. So he's got some choices to make. Lana may have trust issues with Clark, but is he a commitment phobe? Or is there just another girl on his mind? That's right. Newcomer Erica Durant landed the role of the well-known Superman character Lois Lane. Our TV Guide expert Mary Murphy has the dish. Lana has really already moved on. She has another boyfriend. She's trying to move on with her life. And Lois is the only character on the show who does not revere Clark. She's going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Clark. She respects him but she's not in love with them. This is the precursor for the real relationship that we've seen in the movies between Lois Lane and Clark Kent. But I think that Lois is going to have a... Um, but I think that Lois is going to have a... Um, 
Her effect on Clark is going to be more of showing a side of Clark, maybe a comedic side of Clark. And she's also going to help drive the wedge between Clark and Lana a little bit. All right, let's face it, she's a troublemaker. We all know it. Spicy Lois Lane might be a bit too much to handle for young Clark. But then again, you know what they say, opposites attract. With the love triangle in full swing, what can we expect from the seasons to come? The, the kids are getting older, so with adolescence comes, you know, explorations of uh, love and sex. But it's still very PG on Smallville. It's very innocent. And so we always have this romantic notion that things that ro romance happens in Smallville rather than, you know, people run around in the hay. That's right, Miles. And if being a teen wasn't complicated enough, try balancing those awkward years with a bunch of superpowers. Coming up, what secrets will super hunk Tom Welling tell us? Then, how the cast of Smallville remembers a real-life Superman. But first, from Clark Kent's super speed to his super strength, we give you an inside look at the making of Smallville's incredible special effects. That's next. Hi, I'm Kristen Krupp from the WB Smallville, and you're watching the TV Guide channel. I want you to start rolling and just stay with me. To our TV Guide close-up on Smallville. Ever wonder how they make Clark Kent run at super speed? Or how he moves objects with his super strength? Recently, TV Guide had the chance to visit the special effects team in charge of making all the magic come to life on Smallville. Marker, please. Marker. Clark running at super speed was the first special ability uncovered on Smallville. And although it may look seamless on screen, it takes an entire team of special effects masters to make it all happen. Hi, uh, I'm, I'm Matt Beck, and I'm president of Entity Effects. We do uh, the visual effects for Smallville. Super speed is one of the uh, base effects of the show. We do it all the time. Sometimes we'll have somebody running behind him with a high-tech device like a leaf blower. And uh, sometimes we don't need to do that. It depends what he's running on. And sometimes we'll have a stunt person running a long distance and we'll have Clark step in depending on scheduling and things like that. And uh, sometimes the camera will be moving and sometimes it won't be. And then we just take it into the computer and start processing it. One of the first things we do is we, we have to isolate him from the background. So through a process called rotoscoping, which is basically just drawing a line around him, we isolate him so he's just running against black. And so all of these are also kind of just kind of little distortion waves that we generate inside the computer. We, uh, we do a bunch of motion effects to make it look blurred and tied together. So he's got streaks trailing behind him. That adds to the sensation of speed. And that's what this shot is about. Um, it's always an exploration. Uh, we tell him we can, we can do anything. Located 1,270 miles from the Smallville set in Vancouver, Canada, Matt and his team showed us their multi-million dollar special effects facility. This is where we organize some of this stuff. These are post-production boards, they're called, they're called storyboards, but they uh, allow us to keep track of every single shot. It's a very high-tech system. And then in here is the machine room, where we, uh, all those little bits and bytes get crunched at a really high speed. We have more computing power than the Defense Department did not that many years ago. And if that sounds complex, then picture the challenge of making the invisible look real. Without the skills of the actor, our Super Clark wouldn't seem so super. And actor Tom Welling is certainly up for the task. In fact, he loves every minute of it. For me, I think doing the, the special effects or the visual effects or the stunts, I think that you know we're here to, to give the director options and we're able to actually do something that will give the director more options and then that's what we're here for. The human eye, I think, can actually catch things. Even when you make it as good as possible, there's just something wrong, you just watch it and you go, there's, there's something not right about that. But when you can create a, a visual effect where it can happen and the, the eye does believe it, it's, it's truly... I think amazing. It's all, it all has to be in everyone's imagination because he's the magician at the end who uses the computer to render the actual image that you'll see on TV. And so a lot of times I'll just try to talk through with him exactly what's going to happen. I mean, it's hard to watch that and, and see that we treat it anything. Um, there's, there's actually a lot, it's, it's, it's like an army going to war. There's a lot of infrastructure behind the, the guys in the front line. Coming up next, TV Guide has fixed its eye on lovely Kristen Crook. Also, find out what Kristen has in common with actress Annette O'Toole. So it's kind of exciting to, to explore this part of it that's never been done before. 
Then, from the set of Smallville, one of the last TV interviews with the late Christopher Reeve. Don't go away. Hi, I'm Kristen Kirk from the WB Smallville, and you're watching the TV Guy channel. Welcome back to TV Guide Close-Up on the WB's hit show, Smallville. I'm Leslie Ann Machado. Kristen Crook plays the lovely Lana Lang, the heartthrob of farm boy Clark Kent. But originally, Lana Lang was first developed in the movie Superman 3 and played by actress Annette O'Toole in the title role. Uh, being Lana Lang in Superman 3 was a, a dream for me since I had been a Superman fanatic as a kid. Just loved all the comic books and the TV show and I always loved Lana. And then when they told me, the, the Newmans who wrote the script for um, Superman 3 said, we wrote it with you in mind. You our, were our, you know, our ideal Lana. It was, it was like, oh my God. And Chris was just great. And, and it, was, it was wonderful, but it was more, much more a, a, a feeling of being in a, a comic book. You were doing Superman as, you know, it was very bright and he's in the suit and it's, people are whizzing around on wires. But now, 21 years later, O'Toole has Superman in her sights again. This time, she's playing mom to super son, Clark Kent, on Smallville. This is, this is so different. It's much more interesting for me as an actress to be playing the mother. It's much more complex. I'm, I have children and I'm that age now. I'm thrilled to be a part of it and to um, be amongst a group of people who are so dedicated to the, to the Superman legend and doing it in, the, in a new and brilliant way that I never would have thought to do it. It's, it's incorporating a, a family um, drama with a X-Files fantastic, fantastic kind of take on, on a story that we all know really well. And a part of the story we, we really don't know much about at all, which is how did this person from another planet, this little baby, get to be Superman, this hero on Earth. With many sides of Lana to explore, TV Guide had the opportunity to sit down and have a chat with Kristen about her character's past, present, and future. Life is going to change a lot this season, from what I've been told. I really do like to delve into that, though, because it, it makes somebody who they are, who they grew up with, how they were raised, and it's important to see for everybody else to fully understand the character. So, The character that's changed the most over the last four seasons is Lana, going from the moment the meteorite struck and killed her parents, through her relationship with Clark, and now moving on to a new relationship and having some very bizarre things happen to her this season. Change is in the air, and not just for Lana Lang. Lex Luthor's heart cools over this season as we see him go from oh. Kent's friend to foe. So stay tuned to get some more in-depth info. Plus, can Chloe keep a secret about this season's finale? Then, how the late Christopher Reeve felt about his character, Dr. Swan. And I'm your host, Leslie Ann Machado, and you're watching TV Guide Close Up. Michael Rosenbaum plays Lex Luthor on the WB's Smallville. Unlike his later self, Lex has made Clark Kent his best friend after Clark saved him from a fatal car crash. Lex may be a bad boy, but every bad boy has something to blush about. And TV Guide was there to catch him in the act. <laughs> Every time somebody says sex symbol, I just laugh. I couldn't possibly look in the mirror and think sexy. Yeah. I go with it. Well, some girl comes up to me, I really like your character. He's sexy. I'm not going to say, oh, but why? I'm just going to go, yeah, thanks. After January, we're really going to start to see some changes in Lex Luthor from friend to foe. There'll be some developments with his father and developments with other characters. We will begin to see the dark side. Yeah, Lex, Lex has good intentions. He means well. But you can only push someone so far. Am I right? So eventually, somebody's going to push me a little too far. Things are going to happen. You're going to see things that trigger that inevitable turn to the dark side. And by the way, he shaves his head. There's no bald pate on. People always want to know, does Lex Luthor shave his head? Yes, he does. I was a little nervous because when you shave your head, it's just it's a different image for you. And you don't know if it's going to grow back. And it does grow back. And I don't mind, you know, I got to shave it every day. I think I'm working like 10 days straight. So waking up sometimes at 6 in the morning and shaving your head, and it hurts. Allison Mack plays the curious Chloe Sullivan at Smallville High. TV guys stop by the set to get the scoop about the actress who brings Chloe to life. And it's always Tom going, now what? 
Now, how did that happen? And what? And then me having these huge paragraphs with like all this technical dialogue. I like it. She makes her smart, which is important. I like playing Chloe because she's funny and important. I like playing Chloe because she's funny and it's always nice to be the funny one. And she's um, smart and she's feisty and she knows who she is and she doesn't try and be anybody other than who she is. I'm gonna be standing at the gym all alone waiting for you and if you do that to me, Clark, I swear to God, I will never speak to you again. She's just a very um, intelligent, witty girl, which is, which is cool. It's hard to find female characters on television right now that have those uh, characteristics. So I got lucky. You know, it's going to be an interesting season. It'll be definitely different from last one, so it'll be fun. I can't give too much away. <laughs> Thanks for sharing your insights with us. Up next, one of the last TV interviews with the late Christopher Reed. This, this kind of thing is something that I'm delighted to uh, sandwich in around all the political work that I'm doing. I'm Allison Mack from the WB Smallville. Hi, this is Kristen Kruk. And I want you to take the tripod, and I want you to lift it up, and I want you to start rolling and stay with me. Hey everyone, and welcome back to TV Guide Close-Up. Today, we're getting you a behind-the-scenes look of the WB's hit show, Smallville. I need help with that. Creator Jerry Siegel and Joe Shuster first invented Superman as a comic book hero in 1936. Over the decades, this classic icon has become an international sensation and Smallville continues to carry on that tradition. Many men have played the caped crusader, but none so recognized and admired as Christopher Reeve. Our cameras traveled to New York City to visit the set of Smallville as Christopher Reeve took on a role fans of Superman will never forget. Dr. Swan is, a, um, is an all-knowing, almost Buddha Zen uh, scientist who has taken all his money and focused it outward to, uh, to the stars to try and find out more about our universe. And he knows about Clark, he knows about Krypton. He actually told Clark that he was from Krypton and that the planet no longer exists. This message didn't come from the stars. Just check the end. This show could have went anywhere from the beginning. That's how I always felt about it. And to be here, I think, is just icing on the cake. I mean, to work with Chris, to be in New York, to, uh, to have the whole production here, it's just, it's an amazing experience that we only get to do now twice. Well, the point is that uh, um, he doesn't know that there's a uniform on the job. And it's probably just as well to keep it that way. What I'm impressed by is that they've taken uh, a 15-minute segment from Superman 1. I mean, they've uh, spung it out for, uh, what, three or four seasons now. You know, in, in, the, in the movie, Clark Kent accepted his destiny very readily, and um, in the series, he has a real struggle with it. Tom is a, very, is a really great guy. He's uh, uh, very open, very unspoiled, and uh, that, those are the qualities that you want in a young Clark Kent. He's kept his, his enthusiasm and his... Uh, commitment over the years that this series has been on now. And that's not always easy to do, but you definitely get it with him. There was a, a poll taken by TV Guide last year of the top 50 moments in uh, television in 2003 and the scene that Tom uh, and I did last year came in at number six. So I was really honored by that. What an inspiration he was for so many. Don't go away. TV Guide Close-Up returns with highlights of what's to come on Smallville. I'm Leslie Ann Machado, and welcome back to TV Guide Close-Up. Smallville on the WB Network has been exciting fans, and they don't plan to stop now. But what is it about Smallville that makes the show such an entertaining pastime? Our TV Guide senior editor, Mary Murphy, takes a look at what makes this super story fly. I think people like Smallville because they love Superman and they want to know how Superman became. How did this happen? How did he become to be Superman? And I think that is really the appeal of Smallville. With that history comes a mega fan following. Or oh, you see like I was watching a hockey game the other night and they're painting the crowd and I could like see people with Superman shirts. I never would have noticed it before, but now you totally notice it. Well, it's just a great story. It's um, someone coming of age with 
superpowers. I mean, how can that not be interesting? And all these adventures that he goes through. And I mean, it's a very American superhero. It's about justice and truth and freedom and all of those things. Um, so I think it appeals to people in that sense. When you have good writers and you have good material, it's it's a lot easier to jump up in front of the camera. And the, so that helps a lot. And the effects and the the lighting and the you know the photography, it's all it all comes together. So they've taken uh, a 15-minute segment from Superman One. I mean, they uh, sprung it out for uh, what three or four seasons now. When we started this show, I knew it was something special, and we could just do uh, the best job we could, and that's I think what we're still doing. With new characters appearing, like Lois Lane, Smallville flexes its story muscles and continues to be faithful fiction to the legacy of Superman. What about the future of Smallville? Will the upcoming Superman movies affect the show? The Superman franchise, the movies, uh, will come out between season five and season six. They are hoping that the Superman franchise will just draw people more to Smallville. In some ways, it, it is like what George Lucas did with Star Wars. He brought us the beginning. We see how Superman was born and how he was grown up. So I think that the uh, reemergence of the Superman movies will actually uh, draw attention to Smallville. Well, that's some exciting news, Mary. Thanks. And thank you for tuning in to our close-up look behind the scenes of Smallville. I'm Leslie Ann Machado. See you next time. I have to go back to work. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, TV Guide. I'm Allison Mack from the WB Smallville. This is John Schneider from Smallville. I'm Annette O'Toole from the set of Smallville. You're watching TV Guide Channel. Don't miss a thing. TV Guide Channel. Yeah, the TV Guide Channel likes Smallville. That's, that's good to know.